Paul Giamatti has become one of America's most recognized and enjoyable character actors. He has been consistently active in the film industry since 1989, often appearing in more than one movie per year. He's mostly known for his supporting roles, including an Oscar-nominated performance in Cinderella Man. In addition, he's also appeared in famous movies and TV shows like Saving Private Ryan, Planet of the Apes, Downton Abbey, and Billions. He enjoys playing unique and challenging roles, often choosing parts in interesting and unusual movies. Here are 10 things you probably didn't know about Paul Giamatti. He never had a regular job. Paul Giamatti is known for his ability to play a wide range of characters, from historical figures to everyday people. He's especially good at playing characters who have hard lives. Interestingly, his own life doesn't seem to have much in common with these roles. He grew up in New Haven, Connecticut, where his father, a Bartlett Giamatti, was the president of Yale University and later became the commissioner of Major League Baseball. While other teens might have an after-school job, the younger, future Oscar-nominated Giamatti couldn't because he was being educated at Choate, an extremely fancy boarding school. From there, it was on to Yale, a brief foray into animation, and then an acting career. He always wanted to play Rhino. Many kids dream of being superheroes like Batman or Spider-Man, but actor Paul Giamatti is different. He always wanted to play the villain, Rhino, in a movie. He talked about this dream in a 2011 interview, saying he loved Rhino as a child and would like to play him in a film. Later, when he was on Conan O'Brien's show, he mentioned this wish again. Mark Webb, the director of the Spider-Man series, saw him on the show talking about Rhino and was impressed. So, he decided to cast Giamatti as Rhino in The Amazing Spider-Man 2. He turned down The Office. Paul Giamatti was offered the role of Michael Scott in the TV show The Office, but he said no, mainly because he preferred working in movies over TV during the 2000s. Steve Carroll then took the role instead. It turned out to be a great decision because Steve Carroll played the character perfectly. He got food poisoning while making Sideways. During the DVD commentary for the movie Sideways, Paul Giamatti and his co-star Thomas Haddon Church revealed that they both got food poisoning after filming a dinner scene with Giamatti's character's mother. On another occasion, he got very drunk. He had to drink a lot for a dinner scene and ended up really drunk by the end of the night. He broke his hand during John Adams. In an interview with GQ, Paul Giamatti spoke at length about his most iconic roles and shared behind-the-scenes stories, such as breaking his hand in John Adams and not realizing that his character Kenny Rushton in private parts was based on a real person. He said, I broke my hand during John Adams. I punched the table so hard. For a lot of that, I had my hand behind my back. For a lot of that, it's easy to break your hand. His Most Challenging Movie Role in an interview with Movie Maker, Paul Giamatti mentioned that his most challenging role was an uncredited part as Man in Sleeping Bag on a 1994 episode of NYPD Blue. This wasn't due to the acting required, but because of the filming conditions, he had to lie in real human waste, and a local resident repeatedly disturbed the shoot. He was blue for months after Big Fat Liar's iconic pool scene. The 2002 kids' comedy Big Fat Liar may have been big at the time of release because of stars Frankie Muniz and Amanda Bynes, but its secret weapon would end up being making Paul Giamatti blue, literally. In a video interview with Vanity Fair, he said, Iconic, the blue pool scene, yes, indeed. That's one of those things where when you sort of read it in the script, you don't really process exactly how long you're gonna have to actually be blue. It was like weeks I felt like I had to be blue. I only was blue my entire body once, but the rest of it was my hands and face, like, every day. It didn't come off my feet for like three months. My feet were blue for months afterwards. He had an obsession with baseball umpires. Paul Giamatti grew up with a unique interest in baseball umpires. He explained to the believer that his fascination wasn't about their authority, but more about how they looked. He said, they wear those old school chest protectors and the mask and they're always dressed in black. There's something weirdly sinister about those cats. And of course, I've always been drawn to the ancillary supporting players in drama. If you look at a game of baseball as a narrative of some kind, the umps are the bit players. 
They're the character actors. In almost any situation, I'm invariably interested in the people that nobody pays much attention to. He almost played one of the Mitchum brothers in Twin Peaks. Paul Giamatti shared with the rap that he almost played one of the Mitchum brothers in the Twin Peaks revival, but had to decline due to scheduling conflicts. He expressed disappointment about missing the opportunity to work with director David Lynch, someone he's always wanted to collaborate with. Jim Belushi and Robert Nepper eventually played the Mitchum brothers, but Giamatti didn't watch the show because he was too disappointed about not being part of it. He still hopes to work with Lynch in the future. He has production company. Giamatti has a production company, Touchy Feely Films, which has been involved in various projects. These include Giamatti's films Pretty Bird, John Dies at the End, All is Bright, and the short-lived series Lodge 49. The company was even involved in the production of the WGN crime drama Outsiders.